to run go get, I walked around with like a PowerPoint presentation, right? <laughs> and I realized that like no one talks in PowerPoint presentations in this world. The question we need to ask is, how do we facilitate the upskilling and transition as best as possible? It is true that if we don't facilitate it as well, you will get a very high in friction period between that labor force of that skill to the new labor force of the new skill. We do need to make sure that friction is removed, we make it more seamless to transition, we make it fast. And I, I just believe if you just trust private, uh, like you trust the, the, the market, people will create solutions for this. A boyfriend was going to propose to his girlfriend and he needed to rush and get fairy light. I bought it and I delivered it um, and he was setting up for the proposal which was really cool because then you ended up um, kind of helping someone do and make a special memory. We definitely didn't start Go Get with a business angle. We started noticing there was like orders where a house would book 20 go-getters at 12 o'clock. And then I would be like, why would you book 20 go-getters to your house at 12? So when we called up this person, I said, like, just wondering, what do you make the go-getters do? She's like, oh, I make lunch boxes. And so usually I deliver them myself. But since you have a lot of people, I'll just focus on the kitchen and now your go-getters can deliver for me. It just blew my mind. I was like, oh my God, there are so many people out there that are doing these micro businesses. Why would I suddenly have to fork out a regular monthly salary when I have not grown my, my business? I'm still working for my house. So you can see how like companies have just now surpassed their micro state, gone to the SME state and purely because they're able to scale up their people. We work with a few other very big companies that have fully adopted this new way of work. And one of them is Axiata, who just pushed out a fully digital telco, which means a user is able to go online, purchase a SIM card. So if they need a SIM card in an hour, we would be the service provider where the signal will be sent to the nearest go-getter in the area. And we will say, we need a SIM card picked up and delivered here in the next hour. And whoever's passing by will get that signal, take the SIM card and deliver it. They've been able to be so forward thinking, so open-minded. And we're seeing this, this aspect in so many companies now um, in how they use this crowdsource teammates to grow their businesses. That is our true north, I guess, for our company, right? We completely believe that work will be so much more connected and mobile and fluid in the future. No longer will there be really a nine to five force like you must be in a building. You can have more options and these options will be on demand, they will be flexible and more and more people will have multiple sources of income. So we have a range of profiles as go-getters. The first segment would be what we call uh, those that actually have other forms of jobs, but they're using go-get as a supplementary income. The second segment is um, the full-timers that actually do spend the whole day on go-get. And these guys usually, they don't prefer office jobs. They like to be on the ground. They like talking to people. And the last one, which is very um, awesome, is that we've seen such a huge interest from the retirement group. So these are people who are fully capable of still working. They just want to be busy. Mm. They want to meet people, they want to like have something to do in the day, and so they just find jobs. This is uh, one of the, not one of the hardest journey I've definitely been on. Dealing with hardship, probably, and being able to maintain persistence through that is key, especially because what we do in GoGet is not normal. It's not like I sell t-shirts, like people know what the concept of t-shirt is. So when, when you have to fight the perception to sell the product, that is very difficult. So I had to transform to understand how I really needed to adjust my communications. I needed to be aware that not everyone's going to adopt this at first and uh, figure out who to focus on then to be my early adopters and then persevere throughout. You need to talk to people with normal words and just like, and connect with them over a coffee.